everybody. So in today's video, I am going to be trying English food. I have wanted to film this video for a very, very, very long time and I'm so excited that it is finally happening. I ended up spending about $200. So this is all the food I got. I'm going to do it in two parts, don't worry, because if I did all of this in one video, it would be a very, very, very long video. Needless to say, I am very excited. So I just realized if you replay that clip over and over again, I actually sound like a monkey. <laughs> Are you ready? Also, side note, I am English. I was born in England. I moved to Australia when I was eight. A lot of these foods I haven't actually eaten, so it's going to be a really, really, really fun experience. All the others I have tried, but I haven't had them since I was like eight years old. So it's going to be really, really interesting. And I am very, very, very excited. I love English food so much. I'm probably biased because I'm from England, but let's do this. I've kind of got a bit of everything. So I've got like chocolate, biscuits, miscellaneous, and I've got drinks. I've got sweets. Let's start off off with classic. iced gems. I have a really vivid memory of me eating these at someone's birthday party when they were turning like five years old. I've completely forgotten what they taste like, so I'm very excited. Oh, no way. They're exactly how I remember them to be. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I my mouth. I love these. Mm, I feel like my whole childhood is flashing before my eyes right now. I'm gonna rate Ice Gems a 4.5 out of 5. Actually, I'm gonna have one more. Okay. Next, Twiglet. I've never actually had these before. I don't really know what they are, but I'm about to find out. Ooh, okay. They don't really smell too shabby. They kind of look like I've just had a chicken wing and then this is the leftover bone. <laughs> I don't actually know how I feel about these. I don't actually like them that much. I'm gonna rate them a two out of five. It is not really my cup of tea, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next is Jaffa Cake. I love Jaffa Cake so much. I, ta -da. oh, I'm so excited for this. Also, I'm filming this before work and I haven't had breakfast, so technically all of this is my breakfast. So good. Ah, oh, they're so good. For anyone wondering, Jaffa Cakes are basically sponge with orange stuff in the middle. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain them, but they're so good. I'm gonna rate these Jaffa Cakes a five out of five. Next is Marmite. And I'm pretty sure this is Marmite, but it says our mate. I think it's the same thing. I'm pretty sure this is the English equivalent of Vegemite. I'm not really a fan of Vegemite, so I don't think I'll be a fan of this, but this is what it looks like while my toast is cooking. I'm going to try Hot Noodle Original Curry Flavor, which is going to be interesting because I've never had noodles that are curry flavored, but I'm about to, so let's go. Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Step one, bread, toaster. And then for this one, it says rip off lid, whip out the sachet. I'm not gonna lie, it actually smells really good. If it tastes as good as it smells, I am very hopeful for this. Now we wait for the toast and the kettle to be boiled. Jitterbug. The toast is done. I can't do this one-handed. So I have my Marmite toast and I'm just gonna, it has a bitter taste to it. Ugh. I'm gonna rate Marmite a two. <laughs> I wish I liked it, but it's just super bitter. Oh. No, I don't like it. Noodle time. I think they're done. They actually smell really nice. I am back and I have my pot noodles in original curry. <laughs> Are you ready? Ooh, interesting. Okay, um, it's really weird because I'm eating noodles, but it tastes like I'm eating curry. I actually really, really like this. All right, I'm gonna put it down before I eat the whole thing. I would genuinely actually take this to work with me and have it on my lunch break. <laughs> Next one, Dr. Pepper. I actually have never had Dr. Pepper before, but I'm about to have my first time. Oh, ready? I don't know what to rate this. Like it's good, but I probably wouldn't get one if that makes sense. I'm gonna rate Dr. Pepper a 3.5 out of 5. Next one is a Yorkie. It's like a chocolate bar. This is so good. Amazing. I'm gonna rate this 5 stars. Jammy Dodger. These are my favorite biscuits ever. I'm not gonna lie, these are so addicting. Whenever I have one, I just eat the whole entire packet. But I'm gonna make sure I don't because I need to eat like 20 other things. It's basically this biscuit that looks like this and it's got jam in the middle and it looks super boring, but they are so good. Three, two, one. 
Lola's just watching me eat. <laughs> I'm gonna rate Jammy Dodgers five stars. <laughs> they are incredible. The next thing I'm going to eat is a chomp. So it looks like a chocolate bar with like caramel or something in the middle. It's good, it's all stuck to my teeth though. I don't think I would buy it, but sorry, looking at my mouthful. <laughs> I don't think I'd go out and buy it, but if these were going around and someone was like, hey, do you want a chomp? I'd be like, yeah, sure. 3.5 out of five. Smith Frazzles. I have never heard of these. These are definitely English, but I've never heard of them before. Apparently they are crispy bacon flavored corn snacks. <laughs> Smell wise, oh, that's weird. It actually smells like bacon. Even put like pink stripes on it. <laughs> to make it look more like bacon. I appreciate the effort they've put into these. <laughs> Ready? I was expecting them to be super, super bacony flavored. Sorry, I'm trying to describe it as best as I can. I don't think I'd buy them, but like the chomp, if someone was offering them, I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll have some. I would happily take them. I'm gonna rate these a 3.5 out of five. Sherbet lemon. They're basically a lemon flavored sweet and then in the middle they have sherbet in them and it's so good. Three, two, one, go! It is so good. I'm gonna be sat here for ages. <laughs> oh, I just got the sherbet. It's really good. I have nothing else to say besides five star. Next, I'm going to try Tizer. This is my first time ever having Tizer. I'm not even sure what kind of flavor it is. I'm in for a surprise. Oh, I like that. I really, really like this. I don't even know how to describe the flavor of this. I guess it's just kind of fruity. I don't know. I really like it. It's really good. Five stars. So good. Tea cakes. On the back, it says it's a delicious biscuit base topped with marshmallow covered with real milk chocolate. That sounds absolutely delicious. This is what it looks like. Mmm. So it's biscuit, marshmallow, chocolate. That is incredible. Oh no! I just knocked it over. Uh oh. I'm just gonna leave that there until the end of the video. Continuing on. Oh no! <laughs> I accidentally squashed the tea cake as well. This is just not going well. Alright, that's a problem for another moment. I'll just fix that after I finish this video. Next, I'm going to be trying Penguin! Bye! Bye. Sorry, my dad's going to work. <laughs> There's p -p -p pick up a penguin. That's what I'm gonna do. Joke on the back. Why can't penguins play football? Pause this video and leave your suggestion down below. Because there's snowball. Wait, what? What? Wait. <laughs> I'm genuinely confused by this joke. Is that supposed to mean no ball? I can't tell if I'm stupid or this is a really bad joke. <laughs> Looks like a Tim Tam. Actually, I have Tim Tams. I'm gonna go get a Tim Tam for comparison. That's the side-by-side -side comparison. Tim Tam, penguin. Even the inside is really similar. Fun fact for you, and this will explain why I'm not gonna rate this as high as it deserves. When I first moved to Australia, I discovered Tim Tam. Went through this phase where I just did not stop eating Tim Tams, and it got to the point where I had so many Tim Tams, they just made me feel sick. So now every time I see a Tim Tam, it reminds me of the time when I ate too many. Get me wrong, the penguin is great, but I just, it reminds me of that traumatic time. So I'm gonna rate these a three out of five, but it's nothing personal. It's just because I got a bit carried away when I was younger. <laughs> Hula hoop. These are my favorite crisps. Actually, no, that's a lie. Oh, I don't know, I can't choose. So I'm now gonna try Hula Hoops and Quavers. These two are my favorite crisps of all time. So Quavers are basically a cheese flavored, it sounds really gross, but I swear it's good. Basically a cheese flavored crisp chick, crip, chip, chip. It looks like this. Good, I promise. Five stars. And hula hoops are just amazing. I actually love all the flavors, but my favorite is barbecue beef. As a kid, I used to put them on all my fingers and then eat them off my fingers. So for the sake of my childhood. So good. The next thing I'm going to try is a drumstick. I don't actually know what these are. I've never had one before. I have no idea what to expect with this. It doesn't look too appetizing. Oh, it's really chewy. On the wrapper, it says it's a raspberry and milk flavor chewy lolly. I actually really like this. It's really good. I'm gonna rate drumsticks a four out of five. Next, it's not an English video if I don't try English chocolate galaxy. Ready? Amazing, completely amazing. Five stars. Next, fruit pastels. So this is what it looks like. It's like a sugary sweet. 
These are incredible. I feel like these would be super Moorish. Like I just want to keep eating them. I'm going to rate fruit pastel five stars. Magic stars. These are actually my childhood. I always used to love how they had little faces on them. I don't know if you can see. If you can see, but they have little faces on them. They've all kind of melted together. <laughs> Fun fact for you. English chocolate tastes super different to Australian chocolate. Australia, we have to put a special ingredient in the chocolate to stop it from melting, which is why when you bring English food over to Australia, it melts really, really quickly. I'm going to rate magic stars five stars. Five stars. We have four more to go. Next thing I'm going to try is Vinto squash. All right, let's go to the kitchen and get some water. I'm guessing that much is enough. Cheers. It's really interesting actually, because in England they call it squash and in Australia we call it cordial. I'm going to rate this a 2.5 out of 5. Be super sugary. It's still good though. I just probably wouldn't drink it. Now I'm going to try after eight. I think I've had these before. Wow, that is incredible. It's like chocolate, but it has like cream in the middle, but it's peppermint flavor. It sounds really weird, but it's so good. I'm gonna rate after eights five out of five. They are so damn good. And last but not least, in fact, it's not the last one because there is gonna be a part two that I'm gonna film on a different day because <laughs> I feel so sick. <laughs> I'm gonna try chocolate digestive. So basically it is wheat biscuit. You can actually buy digestives on their own without the chocolate and they're also really, really good. But it's basically biscuit with chocolate on the top and it is great. It is so good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that didn't go as smooth as I planned it. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video on a high. I'm gonna rate these five out of five they are so so good oh i'm really sad that's the end of this video <laughs> i'm really sad i'm gonna run you through my favorite oh this is really hard i don't know i'll start with my least favorite twiglets i didn't really like twiglets but they just weren't that nice <laughs> so yeah i'm sorry i didn't like twiglets oh this is so hard because i actually loved everything i'm gonna rate jammy dodgers as my favorite, also Herbert Lemons. These two things were so good. Feel free if you live in Perth to come and join me because there is plenty to go around. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me eat food. I really appreciate it as always. As always, I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing week. Is there anything else that I need to say? I think that's it. I love you all so much. See you on my next video. If you want to watch my next, oh, I have all food on my face. Bye. Mwah. That was so lucky because my camera's about to die. All right, I am going now. Goodbye. Live footage of me cleaning up noodles from the floor. <laughs> oh no. Ta-da. It's like it never even happened.